screw you. I always wanted to make something like this, or this, or maybe even this, and came to a conclusion, why not just combine salt and pain making a video about it? Yeah, yeah, bro, I don't give a fuck, where's the game? To create a game you need visual components, sound, and most importantly, you need to code it. I chose Python because Google said that it will be easier. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here is what the traditionally first written program Hello World looks like in Python and Java. Yeah, that's covered, no further explanation, game dev, game dev. So here's the plan of what our game should look like. There will be two characters shooting each other and every time they get hit their HP decreases. They're allowed to move left and right but not down. When a bullet comes to the border, it disappears. And lastly, to dodge the bullets, our characters can jump. When it came to game design, I really wanted to make something original, not just to use someone else's idea. So I made this mushroom in the background, because I think that the contrast between Full HD images and pixels cutting into your eyes looks cool. The name I chose for this game is Elemental, because I plan to add something called Elements. To illustrate, since these two characters are robots, their element would be metal, and if they were hit by water, it would deal some extra damage to them or cause a debuff like rust or something that would slow them down. But here's the thing. Regardless of the undeniable power of Python compared with other programming languages, it's pretty damn slow. Programs written in Java or C++ take more time to write, but they work faster. See, when you code in Java, you basically tell the computer what type a reward is, so it just follows the instructions. Well, Python has to figure this all out by himself. So, to make it easier to run, the only choice we have is pixel art. Now let's add some variety for each frame. Done. Yeah! That is great, but I don't want them to be dead before they actually lose all the HP. So let's make the animation. Why? Here I created a list with all the frames indexed from 0 to 9 for left and right. This variable here makes sure that when you press right, the animation will use the right frames. And when I go right, it shows all of them in a certain order to create walking animation. Fuck! So we have an issue here. I also made one additional sprite for jumping, such that our character has it on until you press right or left. And I guess this can be used as a defense mechanic in the future. Walking, done. Jump, done. Floor, done. Animation, done. I'd like this game to be a shooter, so let's have the bullets. Now here's how it works. Since our bullet is moving by default, it will start working right after being summoned. And when the bullet reaches the border, it is deleted from the list so that we can summon it again. Oops, we made a mistake. That's okay, it happens all the time. Yeah! This shit disappears when I touch the border, which looks like crap. So we'll add the bullet's width to the disappearance point just so we will not see it. Good. To prevent our character from going crazy, let's make him a friend. If you don't want to download a special pixel art program on your computer, you can just do it on your phone. I think it's even easier, so that's exactly what I did. And let's use the arrows on our keyboard to play with a friend. Who wants to play video games? Bino! The same with shooting. Left control golem, right control squido. Done. Let's make him faster. The same jump for squiddy. To add some balance to our game, let's make his bullets smaller and come from the eye. And hey, how about his eye turning red each time you shoot? Sounds like a plan. That's all nice, but here's the problem. When the bullet reaches the opposite character, it goes through instead of dealing damage. That's because we don't have hitboxes. These are the areas which act as a body of the character which you can interact with. Hitboxes. The same way we made our borders work, our bullets will behave with these things. We also need them to follow our character, so their X and Y position should be equal to those of our sprites. Done. We're almost there, but there are a few more things to do. First, we need to somehow record the damage. To do that, let's make the health bar for each character. Every time the bullet touches the hitbox, we need to subtract the damage. And lastly, let's make the sound. Done. Now check out some actual gameplay. So, hello. Hi. It's, it's my friend Alice. She will test the game <laughs> um, with me. Yeah. So let's go. Ah! Try to jump. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> well, without movement, yeah. Just, just jump right now. 
Oh. Right now. <laughs> I have the fans. Mm. Mm. So, what do you think about this? I don't know, it's pretty easy to control. Like, this game has some potential. It's kind of easy and fun looking, I don't know. I enjoy it. You heard it, guys, we're successful. <laughs> Guys, I hope you liked this video, thank you for going till the end, I really appreciate that. It was a fun experience for me, just accidentally I left all the tutorials that helped me in this journey and the code in the description down below so you can distort my creation the way your sick brain wants. Be healthy, be happy and good luck.